Welcome once again to Fry a Chef. Today we have a very distinguished guest. He is the man who thought this all up and asked me if I would like to get involved in Fry a Chef. It's our own superior, Father David Confortino. And he is an excellent chef, excellent. He's one of the four good chefs here in the house. He's gonna make for us a very special thing, pizza frita, which he's gonna start making from ground up, ground up he's gonna make. It's delicious and I hope you enjoy it. David, if you're ready, let's go. Light that flame, put on that oven, put on that apron, and let's go. Thank you very much, Michael, for that lovely introduction. We're looking at some pizza frita, which is finished, actually, all fried and ready to go. So how did this all start? Let's take a look. We start with a couple teaspoons of yeast. And then, with the yeast, we put in about a half a cup of lukewarm water. Make sure it's not too cold or too hot. And just stir the mixture smoothly and nicely. Then we're going to take and add one teaspoon of sugar and we're going to stir that again gently and then we're going to let the yeast rest for about 10 minutes or so. Just put it on the side there. Now let's begin with some flour. About a one and a half cups of flour. And we're going to add a teaspoon of olive oil to that. And then two teaspoons of salt and one and a quarter cup of water. And we're going to stir this mixture together. Just kind of stir it on slowly as we mix all of these ingredients together. Right now we don't have a dough, we have kind of a pasty kind of mixture that's coming together little by little. And we're gonna mix all this with the yeast. Just pour it right in nicely. And then just again, start to mix it. Little by little, it will begin to take the shape of dough. Put in a little flour as you go along to kind of make the dough become more and more solid. That's how it really becomes more and more like dough. So as you're mixing it in nicely, just keep going as little by little, it becomes more pasty little by little and becomes more like dough. There you go. Put it all together. And now we're going to let it rest. I suggest a warm, somewhat moist towel goes over it and you put it in a warm place where the dough will begin to rise. Let it sit for about 60 minutes. It should be ready by then. So we take the dough, remove the cloth, and you have a nice smooth loaf kind of piece of dough there. And here's a technique. Take your index finger and stick it in the middle of the dough. Pull it out, and if the hole stays, that means then that the dough is ready. And now we're gonna add a little flour to it, and we're going to knead the dough. This can be fun because you're going to really just like pound the dough, pull the dough apart, just like really keep kneading it for a while. This breaks down the dough so that it's easily pliable so that you can use the rolling pin. Add a little flour like that if you want until you have the dough the way you want it. Now I try to use kind of small pieces or pieces on the smaller side for the pizza frita because you're going to be rolling it out and then you're going to also be um, cutting it up in, in appropriate slices. Now you can use any dough recipe. This is a pizza dough, which I highly recommend, or bread dough if you like, but the pizza dough I think is the best. You can play around with that dough, throw it around, fling it up in the air, whatever you think you want to do to get that dough all kneaded and ready to go. And you want it to be rolled out 
not too thin, like a really thin pizza crust, but a little, a little thicker than that. Put your hands around the dough so you can feel that it's pretty much the same all around. Then you take a sharp knife or a pizza cutter and you're gonna slice the dough up in a variety of different sizes and pieces. Just something that's big enough to make a pocket out of uh, so that you can stuff this after it's fried. And once you put it all together, put it on, on a, a sheet, baking sheet, because you're then gonna fry it in some olive oil. Oops, there it goes. Pull it back, try it again, slides a little. But now we see what it's gonna look like. So we're going to the stove now, and we put in some olive oil into our frying pan, and we're gonna heat that oil up. And we simply drop in one slice at a time of the pizza fritta. You just wanna fry it until it's a golden brown. It doesn't take long, a couple of minutes. You'll begin to see, sometimes they puff up. If they puff up, just kind of push them down with a tongs or a fork to kind of break that dough bubble that, that kind of puffs up while they're frying. You see, you just want that golden brown color. And I say, look, beautiful, huh? Now then, I sprinkle them with a little salt, not much, just a little bit on around. And that's the pizza frita. Now there's different things we can do, two major things. The first thing we can do is to open it up and make a pocket out of it, like I said, for like a dinner, like especially like today, Good Friday, or we might wanna do a dessert. So if we're gonna do a, a sandwich type of thing, we open the pocket up, see, very simply slice it, and then simply open the pocket. And then you can put in whatever kind of toppings you want. Because it's Good Friday, we're only gonna put in some kinds of non-meat variables, obviously. So I put some tomatoes, some cheese, I love American cheese, a little salt, and then push everything into the pocket and take a nice big bite. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Mwah. Excellent, excellent. I think you'll really enjoy these. Or if we want to do a dessert, we cover the pizza fritta with some powdered sugar and we have ourselves a nice little dessert. It's delicious. You can do so many things with these. Wonderful little pizza fritta things. Excellent, excellent. Enjoy, and I hope you like it. A blessed Good Friday and a very happy Easter. Thanks, Father David. That was great. Let me tell you something. I had three of them, little piggy I am. But, you know, as David showed you, open it up, and you can stuff it with anything you want. And it's so delicious. But you know what I like to put in there? I like to put a little salami a little provolone, and uh, maybe a little, little touch of oil in there. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed it, and please try it. And if you've missed the recipe, go online, you'll find it, and try it, especially Good Friday. God bless, and have a wonderful Easter.